Hello to everyone, my name is Grego Horat and welcome to our new episode Surfing Daily Twice where I will give you an update uh, on some of particular markets. I will look at the S&P 500, Euro Dollar, Aussie Dollar, Silver, Euro Pound and even Dollar Yen. So as you know, um, the sentiment has changed after the recent sell-off of the US Dollar actually last week when the ECB raised, uh, raised by 70% five basis points that's when actually uh, us dollar came down uh, down a little bit on speculations actually that now the other central bank, banks ecb in particular will try to follow the fed however the us cpi figures yesterday came um, worse than expected so it looks like that speculators are still uh, still believe that fed will stay hawkish that maybe they will have to be even more aggressive before the inflation uh, can come much much lower so um, with, the, with this being said as you know uh, hawkish expectations means higher us yields obviously the us yields are trading on 10 year close to 3.5 percent and at the same time uh, obviously the us dollar um, has almost erased all of the losses uh, losses that we have seen before the release uh, at the same time the most important for me at this stage is probably the s p 500 or the us stock market if you want um, i'm still thinking that we could potentially see lower prices while the market is trading below this uh, trend lines uh, resistance we failed up there to break this trend line when the weeks um, which is here has been trading actually at the lower side of this cycle so whenever we uh, weeks fear index is very low it means that there is uh, that there's a lot of optimism in the market and if this moves into some extremes we know that new cycle can occur so i'm still thinking that uh, we are now in the the different phase that we are now um, going from optimism to pessimism meaning that fear could increase especially after yesterday's drop on stock market so what i'm seeing here is that there is room for more upside till we reach the upper side of this cycle or in other words till we reach the extreme of pessimism so uh, watch out this trend line as well um, this for now still holds but i think that if that sooner or later will be broken and, and this could then cause much more weakness here in lower into wave c now if you look uh, look also into another alternate interpretation there's also a triangle it's an abcde pattern but quite early to call this as a triangle because we are still just in wave c and this can as you know can be impulsive can have a motive wave structure can be in free waves if it's in a triangle so it's a little bit early but what i want to highlight here that even this one suggests that even if it's triangle there is room for more weakness until um, the drop is made by free waves because each leg in a triangle is should be made by free waves so that would be minimum expectations for a drop towards 3750 around there okay where we also had some minor swing loss back from july um, so at least in the short term i think that stocks will stay bearish um, as i said this trend line broken one could provide much more weakness at the same time obviously us dollar will stay king um, if from any reason we're just chopping around here then important resistance obviously still remains around the 61.8 percent but definitely we should for a bearish trend or cycles to stay in play we should definitely below stay below 4325 um <clears throat> so with that in mind with stocks in risk of mode i'm looking at the euro dollar here um it noticed that actually price uh looking at the technical chart here price failed to break this trend line uh, it's in place since start of the year uh, you also have uh, let me check this i believe that's 50 yes 50 day moving average and looks like that as long as we are below this level the trend technically actually remains to the downside um, however there are some <clears throat> divergences as you can see here uh, unfolding uh, over the last few weeks so it can suggest that still we are in late stages of this weakness but unfortunately we are not seeing this low happening just yet looking at uh, this for our time frame either we finished fifth wave here and we are going back to the highs 
uh, of the week or maybe we are going to see another low. I would not be surprised to see another retest of the lows um, because as I said, stocks are not looking good. Your sales are still uh, holding up. So I think that as long as we are below this uh, black trend line that I showed you in the earlier chart and obviously this red trend line, which can also represent the upper side of this wedge pattern, as long as this one holds and one or uh, two in particular, I think that um, we favor, we should favor the odds towards the bearish sequence here. Uh, however, I'm not putting any trade on this one. Um, I still think that somehow the ECB or the European Union in general will try to come out with some new solutions, regulations, uh, which we can see on a daily basis coming out from the members regarding the energy crisis and also the hawks are still there. So I think that there is still a chance that Euro somehow can surprise. That's why I, want, I don't want to touch it. Um, now let's take a look also on Aussie dollar. Now I think we will get some uh, employment data, if I'm not, not wrong, in the next 24 hours from Australia. So we'll see how this will play out now. Generally speaking, looking at this um, at this time frame here, the four hour this pattern, notice that actually price is just moving sideways. Okay. Yes, we have seen some volatile moves during the last three, four months, but actually this looks more like a triangle, okay? More like a consolidation the way down. So whenever we are seeing um, a retracement against the previous rise, more than 90 percent uh, with this drop. And then you have also something similar on a smaller scale now. Well, it means that uh, that bulls are not ready yet, OK, because bears just made too much, too much back. So in my opinion, um, this is still a consolidation and that sooner or later, uh, more we test those levels here around 670. I think uh, sooner we will see the breakout the breakdown actually. So watch out for potential more weakness. I think this is a triangle in a way B. Of course, this can always become more more complex. But since this was a very sharp drop yesterday, so if we, today somehow we will remain slow, choppy, corrective here on the intraday basis or even um, break this wave, this swing low, then I think that weakness is in the cards. However, on a smaller, sorry, on a higher, not smaller, hard time frame charts, I still think that uh, by the end of the year, we could potentially see this bottom for a way B. Now, let's take a look on silver. Now, silver is doing quite well. It's holding up very good, actually, compared to what the US dollar is doing. Um, gold silver ratio also has been moving to the downside. So that's somehow positive for metals. Uh, now, looking at the big chart, I'm waiting on this uh, pattern to develop for quite some time now and we rallied here first in July 20 potentially even with five waves this was completely erased so I had to adjust the wave count and now looking for another potential tempo for five wave recovery um, I think that sooner or later this five wave recovery the real one will finally uh, put the lows in place so what I'm looking at here what I'm um, potentially observing is a new impulse already in progress. Um, however, it's very hard or not recommended to say that lows are in place uh, unless you see a completed five-way price. So for now, that's still potentially five-way ongoing rise, meaning it's incomplete. So um, from especially from an investment perspective, if you think that gold is in a bullish phase now, at least at the starting of this new cycle, well, I suggest to wait on a five waves up and then buy a pullback on three waves. Because if US dollar, based on current rates and current developments on other markets, if US dollar will stay strong, and let's say we get another sharp uh, drop across the board on the stock markets today or tomorrow, then you can easily see um, you can easily see silver falling back towards 1857. Then the bullish interpretation would be invalidation, and therefore it means that uh, silver is not bottoming yet either. So um, it's really important that you wait on this five wave rise first and then maybe potentially look for a pullbacks. Okay. Um, so watch out for silver here. But as I said earlier, on the longer term, definitely uh, very, very important and big big zone down here okay but just short term it's quite tricky with all the uh, the daily events that we have on the schedule especially economic ones now uh, let's take a look on the euro pound now euro pound 
to give a quick overview here still looking at this um at this multi-year support we are rallying away from it so even if you ignore the wave counts we still think that there can be a new cycle to the upside uh, focusing on this red red line to give you the better presentation here so i think that there is a chance for higher prices uh, we'll see what bank of england will do there i think they are ready to raise rates by 50 basis points uh, i think it's next thursday so if we will see how this will play out um, there is a recession risk on the table for sure um, so maybe pound it will be actually a, a battle uh, because of interest rates between uh, ECB and uh, Bank of England uh, but from an Elliott wave perspective I still think that this potential double top here uh, could be broken uh, at 87.20 uh, if you look at the smaller time frame notice that this is still um, this is still ongoing rise incomplete in my opinion that was wave one wave two um, another wave one wave two that actually belongs to this uh, should just this that actually belongs this to extended wave three so watch out for a wave four setback very nice support at 85 uh, 70 at the former wave four uh, you also had this upper channel of this base channel actually because we broken out here so that's usually confirmation that you are that you are in a very strong move like an impulsive wave three so after the pullbacks in wave four you could see the same line acting as a support okay it happened here back uh, early in september and now also maybe going into the next week uh, bank of england meeting we could do some we could see something similar now let's take a look real quick the final market will be dollar yen um, so dollar yen there is on a daily basis we see a lot of talks from uh, bank of japan members regarding this intervention because we know weak yen makes imports uh, even worse so it's not good for their uh, for their current situation especially not for inflation so we'll see how will this play out but the last time when we were here around 147 48 was back in 1998 when there was an intervention from bank of japan so since we are approaching these levels and there is a lot of talk about the intervention i would not be surprised if we will see a shift in trend in in the next let's say in the next few months definitely not, not an easy call regarding timing here because obviously it will also have a lot to do with the us dollar uh, so we are definitely approaching some big levels here but looking at um, the short-term look here i have it here like a picture uh, it's also potential still ongoing recovery ongoing uptrend i'm tracking potentially triangle now in a way four can be even flat so the short term well it doesn't look like a top in place on the long term definitely very big levels up here okay so maybe 148 still going to be a retest based on the both outlooks traders thank you very much for attention i hope that you enjoyed this video and talk to you soon bye